Thank you, Christine Tate, for letting me use your painting as a sort of a demo. Um, this is what I printed off. That's what you displayed on Facebook and um, in our group. I must admit it's printed off darker than it looked on the computer and that's what I've done to it afterwards. Okay, so I'm going to show you now what I've done. Um, the, first of all, I want to point out that this we don't have the colour to tell us what's going on here. So we're having to assume that this has been painted this dome, it's brickwork, concrete, whatever it is, but you've made it very light on that side and not on this side. So I'm going to try and adjust it with a little bit of, of white. And likewise there, because you want this colour values that we're talking about to get show up the difference, really show it up. She said she used indigo, so that's what I'm going to use and hopefully it'll sort of blend the same. So can you see already you've got this lighter side here. Right, now what I would do, if I bring that there, you can see, you can see them both together. Okay, so I would make, your light's coming this way, it, it indicates that. I would really make that a nice dark crisp edge. Maybe you did and it, it hasn't come particularly on the photo, I don't know. And likewise, just just tidy up. Make a really crisp part of it. I'm working on photocopy paper so there's not going to be a great deal of room for playing about. See if I can soften that off a bit. Yes, we can a bit. Okay, I've, I've spread over the line there, so didn't mean to do that. Um, now, if the light's coming this way, the shadow, if that window is recessed, the shadow is going to be on that side. Okay, if the light's coming this way, no light getting in there to speak of, so that will be... See how already that now looks three-dimensional. Now I would also try and separate these layers a bit better. You've got a row of trees or shrubs there, then another row and then another row. But let's make a bit more of it. You can see what I've done here. I've gone in with the tip of my brush and I've just literally and already that has separated that layer from the layer in front. A bit more so. You've done it, but it's a bit more so. And if you're on watercolour paper, you could shade that out a bit better. I think it's also helpful to make this building stand out a bit more if you've got a darker line. And likewise, you seem to have done a bit, but you didn't continue it up. So let's make that much darker. And again, Let's just separate, because what's happening here, the light is catching the top of the trees, but where they're going behind something else, the light isn't getting there so much. Now, can you see how that has really separated that layer from the other layers? And we can do it a bit more with the other bits as well. And it doesn't have to be a solid line. You know, give you hand a bit of the case of the wobbles. Look at the difference there. This is what I mean with these colour values. It's really making that striking difference. Striking, strong, definite. Don't be frightened of it. You know, practice it, practice it, and then you won't be so frightened. And you've got the same business going on here. Now these marks here, this is your foreground, this is your grass, I see that. But just be mindful of the marks you make. Do it with a little bit more purpose. Okay, so we've got, and again, you can go in darker. 
gets them going a different way, get them crossing over. It looks as if you've just gone do, 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 like that, which, you know, is okay, we all do it. This is not, I'm not using this, I'm not criticising any, any, well, I'm hoping to give you useful feedback, that's what I'm trying to do with this. And she very kindly said I could, I could have a go at it. So I hope I'm not upsetting anybody. So, um, you know, just think about it. I mean, this bit looks all a bit vague here, so you could do something with it. I can almost get the feeling of, of a path coming up here now. Um, you could create something and, you know, make it a bit more interesting, maybe. Not uh, knowing what the, the subject matter was. So again, it's just being a little bit more thoughtful, I think, about what you're doing and just imagining how... OK, it, there's not a lot going on here. It's a building and some some trees and scrubland. Uh, and, uh, you know, it can look pretty, pretty nothing really, to be honest, if you don't have people or something in it to give it a sense of proportion and, and distance. But by doing things like this, you can really... This needs something happening up here. Let's have a look. Really sort of bring it to life a little bit. And remember, your brush can make a lot of marks as well. Let the brush do the work in parts. Let's separate some of these leaves or fir tree fronds or whatever they are. I love the way you step those back, they're beautiful. You're really getting the idea of the distance. But you could get it more so by increasing the use of your colour values. Just have a take a bit of time and just play with it. Now, um, well, you will see, Christine, if you look at yours and this one, could do a lot more around here. Um, we could, I'll tell you what look, might look nice, is an idea. Let's put in a few fence posts. There we are, we are now indicating there is a walk up there. You know, make it up, it doesn't matter. Well, that's quite nice now. Okay, so there it is. Um, I just wanted to do that, just to really bang home this idea about colour values. And also, you know, use your imagination a little bit. Imagine you're walking up from the beach up from the beach, the sand dunes, you've come through the sand dunes, you're now into the scrubland and you're going into the lighthouse and I wonder what you will find. Whatever, enjoy your painting and I just want to, you did, you've got a faint bit of shadow, let's just make it a little more of course, if this is round, can't fade it out enough on this paper. If this is round, it'll be fading out that way. And also, as I sharpened up that window there, when you do um, its reflections, its shadow, its wobbly glass that you're doing there, don't just blob it, think about where you're putting it in the frame of the, the the frame that's holding the glass. Okay, right, well I hope that helps everybody and any other questions please ask me.